back to another video in this video i want to show you how to draw all order blocks in all different kind of ways and also i'll show you another trick to draw them properly so without wasting any more time let's move on to the first way on how to draw a bullish order block in this section of the video i'm going to show you how to draw a bullish order block namely the demand zone on the demand we buy even on the bullish order block we buy so the only difference is the names but mostly they all look the same so as you can see these two patterns here they are all different but they almost look the same as you can see from the first one here we have this bearish candlestick is the one with the lower low but on this side we have a bullish candlestick with a lower low okay so don't get confused when you draw your order blocks like this so the first thing that you're going to do from here on the first one here you just have to identify the last bearish candlestick before this bullish candlestick and also to mention you have to make sure that there's an up move here before you can say this is your point of interest to look to go long so to draw an order block or a demand zone in this kind of pattern here you will start from this high to the low okay then you will be looking for the market to come to this and then push higher that's how you draw it in there in this kind of pattern where you have the bearish candlestick with the lower low and then on this side you will do the same thing from the high of this bully from from the high of this bearish candlestick to the low but not this low this low here okay so for most traders they like to reduce the risk in this kind of format because as, as you can see we started drawing the zone from this high even on this side we started drawing the zone from this high but to reduce the risk what you can do is just lower your zone to the open of the bearish candlestick even on this side to lower the risk you can just put the zone on the open here this one will have a low risk but you will miss a lot of trades okay so once you understand what you can do from the low it, it, it will be pretty much easier for you to spot them on the chart so let's move on to the supply zone so from here we can see that we have the supply zone on the supply zone we sell this is also called a bearish order block it's pretty much simple to understand it's just the same even on this side firstly what you can do from this two candlestick just check which one is having a higher high is this one here even on this side you can see which one is having a higher high is this one here and mostly this one with a higher high it will be a much greater trade setup okay right now let's draw the supply zone just going to use our box tool we can start from the low of this bullish candlestick to the high extending to the right and then you are done drawing the zone let's do one more on the side from this low to the high not this high but a higher high i hope you understand each other here guys from here that means you are done so if you want to reduce the risk or maybe if you want to refine your supply zone what you can do is just move this to the open of this bullish candlestick even on this side to the open Pen of this bullish candlestick and then you are done so you will see this when we move on to a real chart where i show you the tricks to draw them easily so let's move on to the engulfed vision of this of this uh, order block or supply and demand zone because as you can see from this examples here the bearish candlestick is smaller than this bullish candlestick here so let's move on to the engulfed vision from here we have four different types of engulfed vision so on the first vision guys it will be much easier to draw them we start from the high to the lower low and then that means you will be looking for the market to come here and then we are still on the vision one of drawing the demand zone so let's do the second one from the high to the low lower low please remember that to the lower low and then that means you'll be looking for the market to come here and then move higher okay this is the first vision of drawing your demand zone let's move on to the second one as you can see this this candlestick pattern is the same as this one even this one is the same as this one but right now we are going to draw it differently because we are going to reduce the risk so right now we will start from the open of the previous candlestick we start from the open and then to the lower low in this case we can see that the bullish candlestick is the one with the lower low and then from here we start from the open to the lower low in this pattern we can see that the bearish candlestick is the one with the lower low and then your point of interest will be on the open of the previous candlestick like this like this so that means you'll be waiting for the market to come to this open of this bearish candlestick and then potentially move higher this will be much easier guys if you go and draw them down and for a recap purposes let's recap once more this one here is an engulfed vision and then on the side we have we have a supply zone which is not engulfed 
shelved in a way and we can see that we started drawing the zone from the open and then to the higher high open to the higher high this one and this one still the same thing but when we do something like this that means we are reducing the risk so let's move on to the breaker block so because right now i understand that you know how to draw your order blocks properly let's say maybe you have a zone like this this is a demand zone and then you have another one on this side but you will be looking for the market to come to this area and then push higher like even on this side you'll be looking for the market to come to this and then push higher this is your demand zone but what happens if the market breaks to the downside like this like this one here that means right now this zone will be flipped and it will become a breaker block right now the zone will be a breaker block like this so you will be potentially looking to enter the market below the demand zone looking to trade lower even on the side you'll be looking to take short positions only i hope you understand each other right there so right now let me show you a trick to identify them on a chart easily or maybe this trick will help you to at least learn them very quickly because it only took me a day to understand them because they are so easy let's firstly from this plain chart here we can see that i can see a lot of them we have a move to the downside like this and then we want to find the zone here before this move here ended you just have to find the last bearish candlestick which is this one before this up move and we can see is this candlestick over here so let's draw the zone here it can start from the high to the lower low and then moving forward as you can see the market reacted properly from here and then let's find another one even on this section here guys you will always see them just find the last candlestick the bearish candlestick before this up move let's draw them can start from the high and then to the lower low using only this two candlesticks here the lower low we use this candlestick and even this one so to reduce the risk in this kind of situation this one is an engulfed vision because you can see that the body of this candlestick is bigger than the body of this bearish candlestick let's move lower and as you can see the market reacted here and then move higher like this so if you are looking to go along you can just put your buy limit order here and then stop loss below the lower low of these two candlesticks here let's find more so the only trick to find them on a chart is just find those two candles like you can just do something like this and then you are done you are practicing there's no way that you'll be doing anything important here you can see that we have uh, the last bullish candlestick before this down move you can start from the low and then to the higher high moving to the side okay and clearly you can see that the market dropped lower even on this one you can see the market shoot lower aggressively even on here we find the last bullish candles we have this bullish candlestick followed by this one before this down move here we can start from the low and then to the high and to reduce the risk we can put it on the body of the bullish candlestick now and you can clearly see that the market reacted from here and then shoot lower even on here it's still reacted that means this one was holding price to the downside so let me clear everything and show you even more i'll zoom in here because this one will be a little bit challenging for new traders as you can see from uh, this area we have this bullish candles we can draw the zone like this from this area here we have a zone that means we will be potentially looking for the market to come to the zone and shoot higher but the market dropped below tested the zone again and then dropped low and remember when you're doing and uh, when you're drawing your breaker block consider the high the higher high here like this on this two candlestick based only on this two candles you'll take this high and then consider it as a stop loss because if you are doing something like this and this one becomes your breaker block that means your stop loss will be putting it above here and then this move will eventually stop you out so you just have to consider this high here okay so even on this area guys you can clearly see that we have this candlestick and even this candlestick and then the market should lower so we have patterns here so we can still draw our supply zone from here to here to the higher high high and high and then to reduce the risk we are just going to move this and put it on the low of this candlestick on the open i mean on the open of this bullish candlestick and we can clearly see that the market just came into this and then shoot lower that's pretty much simple to understand so if you want to practice them properly guys just go to your trading view and just draw them a lot just draw at least 1000 at least 1000 of them you will understand how the market behaves you can see i'm just drawing them without any value 
raising. And you can also see that here we have a breaker block. The market shoot lower and then came to this and then shoot lower again. You can see it's pretty much simple. I like drawing them on the previous on the previous bearish candles open only. Because if I do this, I'll enter the market too early and then this drawdown here will just make me crazy. Let's find another bullish candle and a bearish candle. Simple as that. Easy. Even on here, even this one. This one is an engulfed vision. Even on this one, it's an engulfed vision. And check how I draw my zones when coming to this highs here. You can see I don't draw them on this high here. I draw them here. You can also see another one here. Let me let, let me just leave everything. You can see we have a bullish candle and then we have a bearish candlestick. You can see that this line, this zone was holding price to the downside. So to practice them, just go back, way back into your chart and then start drawing them. Even this one was not holding. This one is a bigger vision, but I don't like them. You can see even though if you are trying to buy from here, you'll be stopped out. So I'm just trying to show you how easy it is to understand them and go to your chart and try them. It's very much easier to understand them if you practice. If you don't practice, that means you're not willing to improve. This one is just a mess around here. I don't like this vision. There's a lot of them here, guys. Even if I move on to the lower time frame, I'll still see a lot of them. You can see. Imagine if you were putting a sell limit order around here. I think this was just news event. You'll be able to catch this kind of moves from here. 80 pips in only 50 minutes. And it works on all market. Cryptos, stock market, indices, everywhere you'll always see this because price section is relatively similar on all charts if you're using candlesticks i'm not sure about those ones who are using line charts and whatsoever so from here guys i guess this is the end of the video please go and back test and draw as many as as you want because this will also benefit you to be a better trader at the end of the day if you don't back test that means you'll be mostly focusing on other people's trading style which is signals which won't make you even a better trader at the end of the day so just remember one thing if you started to trade just know you'll never be a better trader if you're only focusing on signals focus on yourself big bro and then you'll eventually improve into your trading style and also guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me on the telegram and then i guess i'll see you on the next video please go and back test always use a stop loss because the market is about to open soon